Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to share stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification for young eye surgeons. Here it is. This is the main incision at a selected site with the 2.8 millimeter keratome. You can make a side port first, but I usually make the main incision first. Then I inject viscoelastic substance and then two side ports. This is the one on the left side, the right one has been made. And now, in this case, I'm going to do capsulorexis with the needle itself. Inject some more viscoelastic substance. You can apply some SPMC over the corneal epithelium. It will improve visibility. And now, take a 26 case disposable needle cystitome, incise the capsule and raise a big flap, flip this flap and guide this flap all around. Be at a certain distance away from the march of the people and you will achieve a round rexus. That's it. Capsulorexis is done. And now, hydro dissection. Pass fluid wave just under the anterior capsular rim and see how it goes to the opposite side. Here it is. You can see the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator. Depress the opposite equator and you will see that the fluid wave is coming anteriorly along the equator. Mobilize the nucleus, rotate the nucleus. While you rotate, you keep injecting VSS. Antichamber will remain formed. Now you inject viscoelastic substance, and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used in this case is Oatly Catarex 3. You can use any machine, you have to just know the machine, and here it is. I'm just removing some superficial cortex. In this case, I'm going to do stop and chop technique, where you just make one trench, divide the nucleus into two halves, and then chop each half. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the third application of energy. Go deep at the central part. You not, need not go deep to the peripheral part, go deep at the central part. Rotate 180 degree and extend the trench. And now keep opposite forces and you will see that the nucleus divides into two halves. Now go to FECO 2 mode. Till now you are in FECO 2 mode where the FECO energy, ultrasonic energy was 60%, flow rate was 20 and vacuum was 60 millimeter of mercury. Now you are in FECO 2 mode, you are just holding the nucleus, uh, nuclear piece that is on hemineucleus and chopping it and emulsifying each piece. Here it is. Hold this hemineucleus at the center and chop it. Divide it into two halves. And now each piece is emulsified and removed. This is a totally unedited surgery and you can follow this very well, I believe. The epinucleus has been removed and now inject viscoelastic substance and remove the cortical matter. I'm going to use Simco. Simco is easier for the beginners because you have done a lot of SICS where you have used this instrument. If you're a resident in US or Europe you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration if you 
don't have this simple instrument in your surgical trolley. Remove the cortical matter and you can see there's some cortex some lens cells sticking to the posterior capsule just polish the posterior capsule you can use only the irrigating probe only the fluid jet to polish the posterior capsule less and now I'm going to implant uh, intraocular lens under irrigation. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and it is going into the capsular bag. You can use viscoelastic substance and implant a lens in the capsular bag filling up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag with viscoelastic substance. In that case you have to spend some time to remove the viscoelastic substance after implanting the intraocular lens. And now in this case the paracentesis openings are being closed by hydrating the stroma on either side of these stab wounds. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with PSS. Whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium and if there is some in the capsular bag are uh, removed during this final lavage. And that's it. The anterior chamber is formed nicely and then the integrity of all the wounds check there should not be any leakage from any site use a cotton tipped Johnson bard to check the integrity of the wounds thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in learning stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification be better and do better